Hi, Mr. Truck. We just finished doing some testing, some evaluation of Kodiak disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, very powerful brakes. I'm here with Cameron Rapp with Kodiak, and uh, we're going to tell you about some of the, the top features of this. I think it's uh, one of the best brake systems out there. I just came from Denver to Oklahoma City on a trailer we just adapted to the Kodiak brakes. And, you know, of course, there's accidents in front of you. I'm pulling a trailer trying to be safe distance from the traffic in front of me. And uh, in Denver, with an accident in front of me, everybody stopped quickly, and the brakes are so powerful in Kodiak. You know, the industry will tell you that they're 30% better than an electric drum brake. From my experience, they're at least 50% better as far as improved stopping distance and braking power. And, you know, I proved that this weekend coming up here to Oklahoma. And I had to stop for that traffic, stop for that accident, and it was just powerful brakes. I was able to stop just like a car does, and it's, it's pretty amazing to do that with a big trailer. Same thing happened in the next town in Colorado. I went to Colorado Springs, and again, another accident, a rollover of, of some round bells on a semi around a curve. And there I had to hit brakes hard because the cars in front of you will not give you that proper stopping distance that we're all told to keep. It just doesn't happen in reality. So you got to have powerful brakes or you get in a lot of trouble. Uh, I, I like them for so many reasons. They get rid of the heat. They're actually cheaper to work on uh, if you would change in pads is a whole cheaper than the brake assembly you do with electric brakes and you know nothing has electric brakes but traders you won't find a car or a truck or anything you know that, that the government monitors that, that has electric drums they all have hydraulic discs now I mean cars have had them on the front axle forever now trucks have them all the way around it's just a better way to go and we need them on our trailers uh, this system is one of the better systems for bleeding the air out when you're applying it I think it's one of the easier ones to work on uh, and it doesn't hold the heat the same you know a drum you got all that nonsense in there all that water and all those things in the way and they hold heat inside that drum this way you got a ventilated drum or a ventilated disc that lets the air go through it and keeps it cooled off and there's not all those parts encased in a in a cave like there are electric drum brakes uh, so that's one of the reasons I like them now there's uh, uh, Cameron there's three types of discs rotors that you sell uh, yes we have uh, three different types of coatings that's to protect the brake um, basically, we can start with just a, uh, an automotive finish, which is, which is just a standard machine finish. Uh, we also have what's called an e-coat, which is actually an epoxy. Uh, we have a uh, what's called a dacrement coating. Uh, it's a coating that uh, withstands uh, a lot of salt spray hours. You're looking at about four to five hundred hours of salt spray. Uh, we also have uh, for our uh, boat enthusiasts, we do have an all stainless steel set of brakes. That's for those people that run in and out of salt water for maximum protection on that. Awesome. The, um, uh, we measured these at TransWest Truck Trader and RV on a road simulator, which you know a lot of places use those as DOT brake testing. It's a way to find flaws in your vehicle. And when we did the brake force test there, it was like 100% better than brake drum, uh, than the electric drum, the, the going to the hydraulic Kodiak disc brakes. It was, it was incredible. Um, the, another thing too on a lot of these axles they'll have a grease circuit in the middle to, to grease them and what happens is people over grease them I've had a trader like that that was greased at the factory the axle greased at the trader factory and then greased at the dealer and so when I got them we put them on that road simulator and all and three of the four axle or three of the four brakes failed because it was covered in grease and the grease has nowhere to go but cover your your brake shoes and all that wonderful stuff with the magnet and and such so with this system, I mean, if you do wear the old grease, all it does is go out the back. It doesn't go all over your brakes. It's, uh, so there's, there's so many things I, I can go on and on about these puppies. But uh, the safety issue is a big thing. But the stopping power, the braking power of them. Um, bigger axle applications, too, they actually take up less space than an electric drum does, which helps on a lot of these traders that are eight and a half feet wide. You're always trying to conserve space on that. Um, what I've seen of you know the trucking industry that I, I work in, where I compare trucks and review trucks, is you know they've gone disc brakes and i'm so happy to see it so happy to see four wheel disc brakes in trucks dramatic difference in braking power uh the kodiak spends a lot of time on quality issues too and i, I personally think that they have better quality on their trailer brakes than what you see on a truck brake from the the major manufacturers they they take their time to do it right uh another thing to think about with brakes electric uh drum brakes it's a wire it's a you know whether it's 12 gauge 18 gauge whatever the manufacturer uses you got a piece of wire going from the trailer frame to your brake and that flexes every time your axle flexes well you know that's a lot of flexing and you know how wire is you bend it and you bend it until it breaks it's not a lifetime long time uh, kind of system with the hydraulic Kodiak disc brakes you're just like your car and your truck you have steel lines going to the fender well you have a heavy-duty rubber hose that flexes with the axle that's not a pinch in a wire that's an actual hose flexing 
a much longer life system, a much more dependable, durable system, which I've, uh, I've always thought that was an improvement. Uh, one of the many things I don't like about brakes, the other things, the magnets. I, I grew up on country roads hauling hay on dirt roads, and the gravel roads would eat those magnets. So I knew I didn't have trader brakes half the time just because of the gravel abuse to that magnet. And all that maintenance stuff you got to do to an electric brake. Anyway, uh, Cameron, wrap with Kodiak. Uh, uh, tell me about all the, I know there's a lot of options with, with Kodiak. What, the, what are the, some of the things you have choices on? Well, Kodiak was basically built off options. Um, we sell brakes anywhere from 2,000 pounds up to 14,000 pound axles. Uh, we also do uh, a couple of different coatings for uh, different types of trailers. Um, all the way up to a stainless steel version for all you people that uh, do uh, like to venture to the lakes during the summertime, uh, especially during the saltwater uh, areas of like Florida. Other options are uh, just a basic automotive finish uh, for somebody just getting into uh, some type of trailer uh, that just wants a low budget type heavy duty disc brake to get them stopped. Uh, also we do offer what's called an e-coat which is actually an epoxy uh, which is a little bit uh, better than just the, the standard automotive finish. And then we also have a uh, Dacrament coating, which is about a four to 500 hour uh, salt spray test uh, resistant until you actually start seeing rust on the parts. Uh, so um, our options all the way from coatings to uh, actually a, a 2,000 pound axle with an eight inch disc brake all the way up to a 14,000 pound axle with a 15 inch disc brake. That's great. I think mine are a 14 inch, 7,000 pound axle, 13 inch. Yeah, I think it's 13 inch mm -hmm. for an eight bolt, nine sixteen stud. And they're, they're working well. They've saved me a couple times on my way down from Denver, Oklahoma. Stopping power is incredible. It's nice to be able to stop like you're used to a truck. Usually a truck and trailer, it's, a, it's an ordeal trying to stop fast when you have to in emergency. It's a great product. Thank you. Thanks, Cameron. This is Mr. Truck. I'm here with Kyle Zanetti. He is a, a truck repair center down in Worthford, Texas, and he's been using Kodiak since they began. So I, what I want to know, Kyle, is why do you like Kodiak? What's better than they are than the, the competition out there that made you, you use them? Uh, really, uh, the simplicity of, 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 I guess you would say, the repair aspect of it, because my mindset is always set on repairs, not on the not on the new aspect of it, because there's a lot of new stuff out there, real lot of nice, shiny stuff, but the repair aspect of it, of a guy that knows how to change the oil in his vehicle, well, a guy can go in there, jack up his trailer, pull a tire off on eight lug nuts, see that you got two bolts here, you can pull the caliper off, similar to what a vehicle is, press the piston back in, buy these brake pads at any Auto, pretty much any auto parts store and put them back on there but you know saving time that's the right. whole point of it and everything and in today's market that's what people are interested in is time saving not having to spend thousands of dollars to do a brake job on a trailer no more being able to go in there and spend a couple hundred dollars and you can pack the bearings you can put a new set of brake pads on there and they're ready to go for another 20 30 40 thousand miles Cool. And those are uh, stainless steel pistons. Is that what's in a Kodiak? Stainless, stainless steel piston inside the casting, but they do offer it in a, you know, a stainless and S cat and an E coated covering. Right. But being the stainless steel piston, it's identical setup as what you're going to find on the front end and rear end vehicles, brake system of trucks, cars, and everything in today's marketplace. Right. I'm, I'm very much impressed with uh, the quality of Kodiak brakes. So they're uh, that's your number one choice when you repair a trailer is a Kodiak disc. Uh, by far probably the best because when you call if you have a problem warranty purposes or anything you get, to, you get to talk to one person you know you're not calling up there talking to three four five different people just to talk to somebody about warranties you can call up there talk to kevin robinson up there and he'll he's a yes man he gets it taken care of you know he's not going to sit there and go okay i got to talk to uh, mr glidewell or i got to talk to cameron i got to talk to somebody he's the yes man he can say we'll take care of it what parts do you need we'll get them shipped to you taken care of take care of the customer get them back on the road again so they're not being broke down or having issues in the long run because you as well as anybody know if being broke down the side of the road is a bad cost effective way of not doing business well that's great there you have it a recommendation from kyle zanetti in uh, weatherford texas thank you very much thank you, you bet.